Hey, it's Mike again, product manager for Express PCB. Let's talk about the user interface. What many of our customers have spoken to us about is the ease of use in Classic 7.9, and we're comparing that to Express PCB Plus today to show how we've continued that ease of use and even improved on it. In Classic 7.9, we start with our select button, work to our zoom, pad and hole placements, component placements, our line elements, text, polygons and rectangles, and then we get to some of our pad information and netlist continuity. We've used the same icons and added text so that it's even easier to use Express PCB Plus. Again, starting with the select icon, working to holes and pads, your part placement, traces and lines, texts, polygons and rectangles, and then we get down to our continuity and our net connections in the same manner that Classic 7.9 has. Now to look at some of the differences, in Classic 7.9 with our pad information, when you select a pad, it gives you the pad shape, it gives you the pad size, as well as the hole size that's associated with that component, and the pin and ID marker of that component. Before you can click on another, however, you do have to close the window that does pop up and you continue to the next one. Same information again. In Express PCB Plus, we've changed that with our ribbon bar and just incorporated that to be part of the selection process. Simply selecting on a component will highlight the component, give you the component information under the part description, as well as the location of that part. Selecting one of the pads inside that component with a second click will give you the pin ID, will give you the pad size, your hole size as part of the hole and pad ribbon bar. And then in our size and position, you'll see your XY locations and any angles for rotation. And then in Classic 7.9 for our netless continuity, when you select a net from our schematic link, you get the four pads that are shown to connect as a result of that link. They highlight in blue and they don't show any of the connections otherwise done. It's simply the endpoints for the nets as given in your schematic. In Express PCB Plus, with the continuity tool, we've made the same functionality exist. It will highlight the same four pads just as it did in Classic 7.9 with the added benefit of also showing all of the traces that are routed in your design. So it's much easier to provide that check, which you can't do inside of Classic 7.9. It's simply a manual check to see if those traces do exist. In Express PCB Plus, we've also given you the added benefit of the Netless Validation Tool so that you can compare your final layout to your schematic and ensure that your design is equivalent. And that's just some of the ways that we've improved Express PCB Plus off of the blueprint of Classic 7.9. Thank you for taking a few minutes to join us today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe for future content. You can also comment below if you have any questions you'd like to have us answer, or if you have a topic you'd like to have us cover in the future. Most of our content comes from you, our customers, through comments and requests. Thanks again.